In this video, we're going to learn how to use the photometric light in Arnold, and we're going to use the shelf menu again to create um, our light. And I'm going to click on the photometric light button on the shelf, and I'm going to click on the viewport again. And this uh, created our light. And if we go under the light tab, there is this photogram uh, photometry file that we need to uh, specify. And I have one already, so we're going to use that. And if I uh, uh, browse for the file, uh, it's it needs to be an IES extension. In these, you can find a lot of them on, free on the web. And uh, once you do that, it's uh, it's going to use uh, this information to define how it's going to emit the light. And I'm gonna slightly position it above the surface. And actually, if we uh, yeah, so I'm going to position it right there and I'm going to hit render. And you can see we have uh, uh, some kind of illumination coming from the uh, from the light. And I'm going to actually rotate it minus 90 degree. And you can see now uh, by uh, changing, uh, let's change it to 90. You can see now we have the um, EOS uh, light defining how the light emission is going to be. And if I reduce this, we, you can see we have this very interesting shape and all that information is coming from the IAS light and you can use any any light to basically, um, uh, any IAS light in, in Arnold uh, if you have specific ones that you want to use. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for the, uh, we have the radius control if you want to make it, make the source bigger and which will um, in turn make the shadow softer. And uh, uh, you can also uncheck the normalize if you want to use, uh, if you want to have the radius multiply the intensity of the light. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.